needs to come back right away. It's about juicy goings-on at Buckingham Palace. I will relay your message, sir. One moment, please. Juicy goings-ons. Mr. Edison, there's another call for you. Who is it now? Your editor-in-chief in London. He has an urgent assignment for you concerning the British royal family. Finally! My prayers have been answered. Where is the telephone? Follow me, please. Nothing like some juicy going on. Grab the shit and let's go. This may not be a gentlemanly thing to do, but then, when has that ever bothered me? Edison might lose a job he hates. He might have to pay for the bus, but at least he won't have to live in a world ruled by super-powered Nazis. I'd say it's more than a fair trade. That would suck. No, no, go back, go back. You need the camera. I'm very sorry, sir. We do have occasional connection problems. Not a problem. I'll go to the hotel and try to contact him from there. See you. Goodbye, sir. I know adventure games are all about stealing everything. Poor Edison. He left his paper. I'm gonna take that paper. So, I got a press pass, and I look a little bit like the man in the photo. Apart from, you know, the glasses, and the hat. The goatee too, I suppose. Goatee. Similar ears. Don't tell me that this is gonna be a goatee. Dried flowers. Can you take the newspaper? Uh, A camera ad. Hmm. Hello, Cal. Uh, this is all about how you I got have into to the ask about Yes. You said that if photography were banned here, well, uh, but w count up. Okay. Well, okay. I don't want. Thank you. Okay. Uh. No. I need a symbol. That looks like a band symbol. Is there. There's gotta be something somewhere that looks like a band symbol. Oh my god. The doorknob? A large doorknob. <laughs> it must have been red once, but the paint's worn away. Um. So, hello guy, can I spread ketchup all over your door handle and then put a paper on it? So, now the worn doorknob is completely red again. I'm a stickler for the little details. Oh my god. Let's stamp it. If I press <laughs> the poster against the doorknob, it produces... an interesting <laughs> new symbol on my poster. Oh, thank you, Voxbox. For subscribing, I appreciate that, sir. Thank you, sir. That's very kind of you. Hmm. I've stamped the poster. Okay, let's put this up. Guys, flying. Jeez. Let's put the band symbol up on the thing over there. It's certainly an authentic-looking prohibition. So. I need something to stick it up there. Lollipop? Oh my god, you are not. I'll rub the lolly on the back of the poster no! so I can hang it up somewhere. That would not work. That would not work. Rub the sticky lolly on the back of the okay. paper. Let's see if this works. It's one hell of a useful lollipop. <laughs> Hello, Count. Oh, you again. Count. Terrible, terrible news! I just discovered there's a photography ban throughout Parisa Platz. What are no. you saying? Where is that written? Follow me, I'll show you. It, on this ketchup printed sign with that smells like a sucker. You see? Up there. Unbelievable! Outrageous! I am furious! Young man, you must look after my camera while I resolve this issue. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Sure. Count. Sure. 
I know. Now, now I'm gonna steal his camera. I'm just stealing everything. The it's ruining lives. Justify the means. I hope. Okay, so now I got a camera. I need that man's hat. What would he want? Hello. I see it's still quiet as the grave here. <laughs> Very absurd. Well, let ever I need that hat. This hat might make me look a bit more like Edison on his press pass, but I think my kleptomaniacal urges have been sated for one day. Hey, it's a real condition. It has not been. What if I give him this bowl? And instead of change Hello, what? it's me again. Hi there. By the way, I really like your hat. Really? I hardly ever wear it. I just use it to collect money. Hmm. It doesn't really seem to be fulfilling its purpose, does it? And you're saying that's the hat's fault? It looks a bit greasy. Maybe that's putting your customers off. Oh, you might be right. It really doesn't look very clean, does it? If you give me your hat, I'll give you something even better in return. A connoisseur of old greasy hats, are you? <laughs> okay, if you can give me something good to replace it, you can have the hat. I have this I have this trash can lid you could use. I've got this polished metal bowl that absolutely isn't a rubbish bin lid. <laughs> Wouldn't it be better for collecting money than your old hat? Hmm. Let me see that. Yes, this is good. It's sturdy and it looks a damn sight better than my old hat. So, you want to trade? Gladly. Here, <laughs> take the thing. Thanks. Thank you. All right, so now it's not quite Edison's press pass. We're not too dissimilar. But the photo shows him sporting a goatee, glasses, and a hat. Goatee. Oh, I know where to get the goatee. Oh my god, you are not. I gotta. I gotta wear the goat's goatee? That's bullshit. What are these flowers for? I need that goatee. The whiskers are stuck on tight. I could take them with me. But it'll most likely mean lugging around a whole stuffed argali for the rest of the day. Uh, cut it off at the bottleneck, maybe? This guy owes me a favor. The least he can do is spare me some whiskers. Man, how dirty is that, is that painting? Argali whiskers. Edison's press pass. Alright, well I should have everything now. In theory. Alright, let's do this now. Got the press pass, got the outfit. Only photographers at I've got everything I need. Apart from so much as a sliver of plausibility that I might pass for Edison. I need to change or something. It's me again! I can already tell you're excited by that. I'll be excited if you have your press pass. See you uh, later. See you. Um. The glasses I stole from Edison's. Uh. How do I co combine them, or do I put them on myself, or? Edison's press pass. I have the glasses, the hat. I, uh. Hello, X. X bed. Wow, that was a long time. Glad you finally came back. Um. Oh, no, not the lolly. I've clumped the whiskers together. Oh, my God. You can't be serious. False beard. Reminds me of a girl I once knew. 
Okay, I've got everything I need. Press pass, camera, hat, oh God. glasses, and the pièce de résistance, of course. The Algali beard. How Time to get it? suited and booted. How can one lollipop do all of that? I, it's... But other than that, it was easy. <laughs> I got past the guard, found the locker room, and here I am. Well, that's a lovely story, Fenton. But why? Look, we don't have much time, so I'll get straight to the point. I read that you're leading the decathlon, and you're just about to complete the last event. The long jump? Well, if you win the gold medal, you'll be invited to the reception after the contest. The museum where the reception is taking place is closed due to the event. No visitors allowed. I need to get in there and look around as soon as possible. I hate to repeat myself, but... Why, right? I know, I know. I've asked myself the same thing a couple of dozen times. Do you remember Richard Weston? Of course! You two helped me pass that test, remember? What about him? He disappeared, and his trail leads to the museum. Well, the story's much longer than that, but for now I have to ask you to trust me. So, can you smuggle me in? Absolutely. I couldn't leave an old Sandhurst chum in a bind, now could I? Thanks, Glenn. I owe you one. Of course, you are assuming one vital thing. That I win. Frankly, I've still got a slight lead, but the long jump just isn't my forte. That Erwin Huber in second place will likely pull past me at the last minute. He's the better jumper by far. He's beaten me every time this year. So your lead won't be enough to secure the goal? Oh, I doubt no. it. Huber always manages about 25 centimeters more than I do. If he's up to his usual standard today, and I don't manage the jump of my life, then those 25 centimeters will be enough for him to take the lead. I see. I suppose I'll just have to cross my fingers. Why don't you introduce yourself to Huber? You could be his date for the reception. He's probably not my type. And I am. Beggars can't be choosers. Very funny. Look. I'll give it my best shot. We'll just have to hope it's enough. <sighs> Look at the time. I have to get moving. I'll see you after the jump. Well, Fenton, I've got to head out to the contest. I'm already running late. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Good luck. Thanks. I'll need it. Typical man just needs a few more inches. Unfortunately, he's right. Ordinarily, of course, cheating would never cross my mind. There's too much at stake. I need to get into the museum. Uh oh. So, business as usual. I'll take a look around and come up with a plan. I need to tip the long jump in Glenn's favor. Funny. I honestly never expected a Tibetan rescue mission to involve rigging the Olympic Games. Still, silver linings and all that. So he's going to. So now he's now he's gonna cheat in the Olympics and make and sabotage someone. You know, it's like, why not? We've done everything else. Sneakers. Nothing I can do with a pair of smelly trainers. The shoelaces, on the other hand, look absolutely essential. Should I use the lolly on the other dude on his shoes to make him so he can't uh he can't run mm. very well? Sweaty sports clothes. No thanks. Give him a good sniff. <laughs> How about the towel? Filthy. I'm not touching it. <laughs> Might as well be eyeing up women back at Shen's. Uh, what? Um, okay, let's say I haven't saved in ages. And also, turn down the sound effects. They're a little loud. Actually, background. I think background sounds. They're like deafening. There, that's better. Anything in the lockers? They're all locked. Well, try the lolly. I'm going to try the lolly on everything. It's got to work on something, right? What is that? Ventilation grill? It's screwed on tight. Bottleneck. Shoelaces. No. This hook here seems to be loose. Just rip it off the wall. 
Got it. The only logical solution. Use that on the grill? Just needed a bit of leverage, that's all. Of course. The grate's off. What's in the rubbish bin? There's always something awesome in the trash can in these games. What are you a gonna get? A bottle of cleaner. Great. There's nothing else in there. The list that? of starters in the long jump. Glenn's got a slim lead. That's why he's last to jump. What about the list? This there? is a list of the best scores that the athletes have achieved in the last year. Glenn's toughest competitor, Erwin Huber, still tops him by 25 centimeters in the long jump. If they're both on form tonight, the German will just snatch victory. If Glenn doesn't win gold, he won't be able to get me into the museum. Okay, I get, I get, we, we know that. The it's poster. a poster advertising the Olympic torch relay. Take a towel. Call it intuition if you like. But I'm taking this towel. You dirty thief. You have no shame. You will take anything, well, won't you? Damn, it's getting late. He will steal I anything. need to get on with whatever the hell it is I think I'm doing here. Exactly, we have no idea what we're doing. Lamp. The lamp seen better days. It's flickering and sparking. Take it. Looks like it would give me a nasty shock. Uh, use the lolly. Or use the flowers. The spark set the flowers alight. So now you have burning, you have burning flowers in your pocket, and you. Seem completely okay with that. Ah, it's the equipment room. Uh, what's on the shelf there? Two javelins and some hammer throwing and shot put equipment. The shelf's feet are screwed to the floor. That's some heavy duty storage. Hell to the yeah. I'll just take one of these with me. You're gonna take a dumbbell? Do you know how heavy those things are? Oh, there's a there's a starting block. I'd Steal much that. rather leave them here. Why not? You stick everything else in your inventory. How about metal? Panel? It's a metal plate screwed into the side of the locker. Um. Try the lockers. They're all locked. Hmm. Try the coat hook on the metal panel. If I can loosen the metal plate, maybe I can open this left-hand locker. I'll need to attack the screws, though. And the coat hook's got a rounded end. Well, uh... Try... the lolly. Lolly's gotta work on something. Balls. Take... I dabbled in athletics when I was at the academy. I remember all too well how heavy these things are. You'll understand if I don't fancy carrying them around with me. Oh, thank God. Twitch has finally paid. Twitch has finally paid up for this month. If you are a partner, Twitch finally just paid. They paid money now. Foot on shelf. What you I can't use the coat hook to loosen the screws. Yet. Maybe leaving it here will help. Somehow. Okay, now. Take the dumbbell and bash it? Hmm. Maybe I could find some more uses for this hook if I were to mangle, or, or rather, modify it with this dumbbell. Here goes. Yeah, just bash it. Just let's just destroy stuff now. Damn, it won't stay put when I hit it. Okay. Uh. Oh. Oh, I won't stay still. It's on the table. A whole load of sporting equipment and measuring devices, stopwatches, batons, several table tennis balls, and a measuring tape. Sign. It reads, Certified Measurement Devices. 
calibrated by the IOC 1936, only for use by authorised personnel. Okay, let's put the coat hook down. I can't use the coat hook to loosen the screw. Okay, leave it there. And I need to secure it, so let's do the lolly. No, how about the string? Tie it with the string. Okay, it's all tied up. Now, smash Time it. Time to get to work. What is Killer 7, Nicole? It worked. The end's now flattened out. Okay, so now I got it flattened out. Can I loosen the screws now? On the locker? Now that it's flat, this makes for a pretty decent screwdriver. Let's get this panel loose. The funny thing is, there's probably a screwdriver in that top drawer, but Ta -da! Ooh, we, we can't do that. I we gotta to make you our own. The inside of a locker. That was a great trick. Is that a suit? A judge's uniform. Oh god, you are not going to do that, are you? You're going to go out there and you're going to cheat by being a judge? Could be useful. He has no shame. No shame at all. Adventurous though I am, perhaps I should just go the normal way. Why? I can't see much, but it looks like a full house out there. Let's mats high jump mats time for a nap maybe later why would you that's let's go outside now the door outside's locked <coughs> what kind of a door to, can you not open from the inside most locks you can open on the inside let's go out um An official IOC judges. Wait, wait, wait! Torch holder. What is that for? An empty torch bracket. Nothing to do. Why do you? That's interactable. Why? A thick bundle of cables running out into the stadium. Oh, should I light the torches? Yes, that is where a torch is supposed to go. But then it would burn the cables above it. I'm not sure that's such a great idea. At least, not right now. Let's go out there. I'm going to need a better disguise. I can help. Lowry Askler is preparing for his jump. Oh my god. After nine out of ten contests, the Finnish athlete holds third place in the decathlon. We'd like to ask for silence now, please. Askela's jump is valid as well. Now we're anxious to know the distance. Seven twenty-five, seven meters and twenty-five centimeters. We've just been informed of the distance. Seven meters and twenty-five centimeters. A Just sensational jump by the some way to Finnish athlete. Decrease. Can Erwin Hoover and Glenn Parker keep up? There's a palpable atmosphere of suspense here in the stadium. In the overall rankings, Erwin Hoover is in second place, just behind Glenn Parker of Great Britain. Given that the long jump is his forte, the German athlete now has a very strong chance of reaching for gold. Just a few more moments, and we'll know who will win the 1936 Olympic decathlon. It really is about time I did something clever. Or at least vindictive. Well... Um... A competition-sanctioned measuring tape. What? We have cables. This cable powers the lights and things out on the track. This measuring tape is used to measure the distance of the long jump from the takeoff point to the nearest sand imprint.
cleaner. What would that be used for? I'd better not talk to him. I really don't need. Um. So should I burn this stuff? Maybe. Yes, that is where a torch. I'm not sure that's such a good. I'll keep my. I'll put the judge's uniform. Now what should I do? Have a track. I'd say there's a fair chance the judges would want an explanation for why I need their measuring tape. I'm not entirely sure I've got one. I see the cables. They're in two bundles. What could... What to... I feel like I'm missing something. An item or... I have a dumbbell. Can you use that anything? The judge uses the microphone to relay the jumper's distance to the stadium announcer. This cable powers the lights and things out on the track. I right. shouldn't do anything to blow my cover. Hmm. The judge records the distance and relays it to the stadium announcer. This is the run-up track the long jumpers use. I'd better keep a distance. The jump's invalid if the jumper steps over the takeoff board. As they say, a jumper with a perfect takeoff is already halfway to victory. Um, this measuring tape is used. The judge decides whether or not a jump is valid. He shows the white flag for a good takeoff. Then he takes that measuring tape, attaches it to the bolt next to the takeoff line, and. Me These cables are hooked up to the lights and the microphone out in the stadium. Okay, now if I burn it... Yes, that is where a torch is supposed to go. I'm not sure that's... These cables... I'll keep my hands to myself for now. I, it's... Wait, go back. What about that thing on the wall there? Stadium layout. The layout of the stadium. As we've already established, of course, I'm an hmm. expert orienteer, so I won't be needing this. Too long shoelace. What? I feel like I have to do something with something. Tape tennis balls? I didn't know those were there. I'm sure no one will miss these. What are I going to do with the balls now? Wait. What if the Adventurous balls are on the track? I am. If the balls are on the track... I can't just... Until I come... I can't just go out there and replace the judges. Until I come up with a plan that has some chance of success. Okay, let's burn. Yes, that I'm not sure. Shoelace the balls. Are these usable with anything else? The cleaner contains oh. acetone. According to the label, this solvent shouldn't come into contact with plastics. My oh. destructive tendencies are encouraging me to do precisely that. Hence, the table tennis balls. But if it melts plastic, I could only imagine what it does to human skin. I need a container of some kind. Um... Cleaner and t how about need a container? The rubbish bin maybe? 
the bin looks pretty sturdy. Should be a